Hey guys, what's up? Me here, and welcome back to another video. Um, something is different now. Something is completely different now. So this is going to be another unedited video where I'm going to show you guys something I got. I got a ferret. So, um, I don't know if I posted it, but I think, oh no, it didn't post. I've I wanted a ferret, and I had a whole plan, and I ended up switching that out. I got enough money to buy one of these babies. And then, his name is Baby. And he was just eating food, so he's still eating the food, and then grinding down his teeth, because that's what he likes to do. Um, um, I have his cage. It's definitely appropriate-sized. We had an, uh, uh, an original one until this one came in, um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys that in a little bit. So, this is my ferret. He's a guy, and his name is Baby. So, his original name was Bandit, and then I, I call, like, all my pets Baby. Now he goes by Baby, and honestly, Bandit was really hard to just keep up on. It was a really long name, so... He's my little cute baby. When I got him, he was a lot smaller than this. Like, yeah, a lot smaller. Um, he's doing okay. We feed him, I feed him Y Song and Pigeon 90. Um, digestive support, that is, if you're doing kibble, I do recommend raw feeding. But I couldn't do raw feeding. It's just too expensive for me. But Y Song and Pigeon 90 actually gives off all the stuff you're going to need for them little fiber um a lot of nutrients a lot of fat you know um just you know look it up so if you're going to get a um a ferret you want a cage at least five feet tall now you guys are probably like that's absurd well is this absurd my ceiling's right there so down here, let me open this, is his potty area, and then um, we have his door, and we made this ourselves, um, or my I made this myself, and it, it works. Um, there's these screws that come came out of the door, so we're fixing that today, but my ferret's doing really good, um, so now I'm going to explain, well, you can see how big the cage is, I'm going to explain everything you're going to need for a ferret, and this is an unedited video, so it's all in one clip. I told you guys I'm going to do these a lot because I don't want everyone thinking that I script my videos because, um... Jake Paul and Logan Paul, well, Logan Paul had other reasons to end up falling down the track, but, um, Jake Paul started going down in views and stuff, and his, he lost a bunch of subscribers because everyone thought it was, everything was being scripted. So, um, I'm just gonna do all in one clip, no editing, no nothing, unless I'm gonna do, like, I don't know, a gaming video meme videos often um have a little bit of editing in them um so those are the only videos that i can't really script so uh, what are you doing what sec oh that's the wrong way to get in buddy sorry um so that's my ferret his name's baby he's a guy uh, i feed him my song up 90 um, I, I give him, um, uh, two, um, bowls of water, and the bowls are, my bowls are pretty big, so, um, he's getting a lot of water, um, let's go off of how much free roam time it's, you're gonna have to give your ferret, so, all you need to know in 2020 about ferrets is, um, the recommended is four hours. Four hours is not enough time, no matter how many articles you read that say, I've, I've read articles that say one hour, two hours, three hours, and that's just, that's, that's abuse. They're not caged animals, 
they can't ha as much as you put how tall how big your cages are they're gonna want free time unless you have one literally the size of your whole backyard so yeah um just i recommend at least at m like minimum six hours but i recommend all day free roam unless you're gone like that's the only exception so um sorry i need to grab something <sighs> okay sorry um yeah okay so then what they eat and what you need to feed them so This food, do not feed your ferret. I got my ferret from a pet store, which you should also not do. Um, and that's what they were feeding him, so I had to basically switch him off the food. So I'm still using that, that food a little bit, but wise long at the gen 90, digestive support, feed this food it's a lot better um look up the ingredients i can read them to you a little bit so chicken meal organic chicken chicken fat preserved uh preserved with mixed i don't i can't pronounce that um dry dry plain beet beet um pulp meat pro meat protein um natural flavor apple fiber um oil ye or fish oil yeast coconut oil um all a bunch of pretty good stuff now obviously with everything there's going to be some downfall and the only downfall to this is um let me find it on here because i can never think of the name okay it's um dry plain beet um that's the only thing and it's a pulp so it's not as bad um um yeah you don't want a lot of fibers so um it also tells you um how much they put in each thing in it crude protein is 62 percent which is really good crude fat is is 16 percent um moisture is moisture is 10 crude fiber is only five that's good and then true 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 team i think that's how you pronounce it is zero two zero point two so yeah um it's a lot better um if you can go on a raw diet that is the best i recommend duck chicken and like um so chicken will produce fibers and then duck is just genuinely good for them like um i've seen people feed them um duck lip or chicken lip um which is actually really good and then like cow tongue and just cow meat or steak but not cooked don't cook anything raw and you want that to be a balanced raw diet, which you can look up. Many sites will tell you. Um, so, yeah, that's what they eat. They can only, only eat meat. Please do not put your ferrets on a vegetarian diet. Don't feed them corn. Don't feed them any vegetables. That food has cor a cornmeal in it, and it goes from um chicken uh chicken meal to a corn meal really fast and there's more corn in that so it seems like oh yeah there's only you know it's only one there it's it's one corn meal there's no other vegetables no the corn is actually a large percentage of the bag so yeah um feed them why song why song epigen 90 uh ferret ferret epigen 90 um uh, some cat foods are actually really good for them um, I mean, there's nothing better than Wysong in the, the uh, ferret community. 
uh, for pellet food. So, I mean, there's probably others that I don't know of, but I so far, Wysong Epigen 90 is the best thing I've found. Um, if you guys found something different that's even better, put it down in the description. So, the thing about Wysong is you literally can buy this stuff for like 30 bucks on eBay and it lasts like a good, a fair two months. Um, I recommend getting two bags to be honest. You'll last for what feels like forever. Um, one thing you definitely should do is pack an emergency bag. Not for you, for your ferret. So I have an extra bag of food, I have a water dish, um, I have his favorite toy, basically just an emergency backpack or um, what I'm gonna bring to my friends maybe. Just uh, prepare for the worst. Now, thousands, I, well, I would guess thousands of ferrets are put into the shelters because people can't take care of them because they don't know everything about them please do your research i have actually a really good um youtuber for you uh potsu and friends is the name she is a ferret youtuber and as i she knows a lot about ferrets and she taught me everything i'm teaching you today she does not suggest why song epigen 90 because of her own um um thing I don't know so I mean going off of if she makes a video off of just why song of the 90 explaining some valid reasons why you shouldn't buy it there was a whole mold thing um they cure they they dealt with that um but yeah no go watch her channel it's actually a really good channel you'll find a lot of interesting stuff um, so, another thing, um, baths, don't give your ferret a bath, at minimum, if you're gonna give him a bath, give your ferret a bath, maybe once every five months, four months, because baths strip their oils, making them smell worse than they are, and... I, I don't care about the smell of my ferret. My I don't mind it at all. But if you do, don't give him first. Let me just show you something. Okay. Instant shampoo or in, instant soap. Instant. Uh, I've seen a couple other names like instant bath. Don't put this stuff. Just this brand mainly. Don't put this stuff on your ferret please don't because I need to shake it so we gave him that stuff and we couldn't give him a bath so we were like oh dry shampoo that will that will work and uh, it won't show up on camera he has a he had a bald spot right here and it's growing back but um we had to give him a bath and take him to the vet um equaling out to like a hundred dollars so yeah now let's talk about um picking your ferret so depending on where you get him from um you can get you will have a lot of a lot of um ferrets to pick from i picked this guy because no matter how much I mess with him, he won't bite me. He's never bit me. I've had him since September 18th, and he's never bit me. He scratched, but he's never bit me, ever. <laughs> oh, look how cute he is. He smells the rain. It's raining outside. Um, he's in chat, buddy. He just woke up. Oh, another thing. Well, at least for my ferret, he will not sleep at night. I I lay there and he sleeps until like 10 o'clock and then he's scratching at me because he wants to go. So I put him in his cage and then he just wrestles around and then goes to bed. 
It's confusing. They're confusing. Stashing. My parrot's never stashed before, um, but I've caught him trying to. You can't do anything about it. If anything, give them something you know they'll stash and then follow them to where their stashing place is. So if you lose something, you can go to the stashing place and look there. Um, but that's all the advice I really have for you. Um, so picking out your ferret. It takes some, some, something that's nice. I recommend some, something that will play. My ferret doesn't play. He is an old soul. And I've only had him for two months. They said he was nine months old. And, um, the vet doesn't think he is. I say he's like a year old. So don't get Marshall's products and don't get Marshall's ferrets. If you guys know what a puppy mill is, it's basically the same thing, but with ferrets. And as much as you research about Marshall's saying, yeah, we're the biggest, biggest um, ferret breeders and we're, we only breed for, um, for that how they act and not how they look and I'm like, really they're only breeding for money and they they give the public the bad ferrets and give the good ones for studying which hey don't get me wrong sometimes you're gonna need to study on these guys to understand how to save more but it's just not right how they're how they do it they give them so they can experiment something they already know is good. Something they already know they've perfected and it's it's not right. It just really isn't. I made a mistake. I got a Marshall Ferret and I was giving him Marshall products. And then I, I watched Patsu and Friends. I swear Patsu and Friends gives you all the information you're going to need. And I stopped. So. Yeah. This is my baby. And... Um, if you guys want a ferret, I definitely recommend a private breeder, but if you don't live close, do maybe, um, a shop of a pet store in town. The one I got from wasn't a very good. So something you trust, something that doesn't look risky, I would get from. The one pet store we had that I actually trusted, um, got shut down, so... Um, I went to this one and it was sketchy and I got this ferret and I love him. Don't get me wrong. He is just the best, but he doesn't play. I think he's older than what he is. Just something you don't trust, don't get. So, and I will see you guys next time. And if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.